Welcome back, everybody. Today we're taking a look at another Baltany. It's my third Baltany in the past three weeks. And after this, we'll take a break. We have some Vario to get to. I'm looking forward to showing you those. But out of the three Baltonies that I've reviewed over the last three weeks, this one here is easily my favorite. Now this is the S5044, the black dial with a black leather strap. On the package, they call it the Eccentric Case Vintage Military Chronograph. And the reason that they say it is an eccentric case is, well, take a look at that case. Over on the left side, that bezel sits flush with the case, but on the right side, it almost acts like one large crown guard, which is pretty cool if you ask me. You don't see this a lot. Now, this is not an original design to Baltany. This is actually a very iconic design that comes out of the 70s and early 80s, and it is a military style watch. So Baltany does refer to this on their website as the Vintage RAF 6BB Homage Military Chronograph watch as 5044. And I like that they make no bones about the fact that this is an homage to the Royal Air Force Model 6 BB. And this is something that was handed out in the 70s and the 80s. It was a mechanical military chronograph and it was produced by Hamilton and Newmark, mostly Hamilton. And so today what we have essentially is a mil spec Hamilton watch homage. This Baltany is coming in at 39 millimeters. It has a dial diameter of 28.5 and a great lug to lug of 46.3. It's only 12 and a half millimeters thick, including that sapphire crystal with AR coating. That case, of course, is 316L stainless steel and it takes 20 millimeter straps. It has a screw down 316L stainless steel crown and a screw down case back as well. And on this dial, you're going to see a mix of Swiss Super Luminova, BGW9, and Retro, as they call it on their website. I want to take a closer look at this dial because this is a beautiful dial. I absolutely love the hands, which are outlined in white. Then they have that vintage style loom in the center. That seconds hand really pops. It just looks so, so good. There's only one issue with it. If you don't have the chronograph engaged, the watch kind of looks dead. And that's because this particular movement is the VK64 quartz chronograph movement, and it does not have a running seconds hand. Skip ahead if you don't want to hear me moan about this, but man, do I hate that movement. I know why they use it, because it's a simple movement. It's available. It's a two register movement, and it's a great movement in all other respects. But when you look at this watch, it looks dead. And here's the thing about it. I shot all kinds of... <laughs> I shot all kinds of video without engaging the chronograph hand until I realized I could have just taken a picture and it certainly would have been easier to render in the editing process. But if you don't mind that, what you do have is a really, really good looking watch. That dial is almost a gilt dial, I would say. The markings on the chapter ring are a little more gold and I would say the arrow above the six and the sub registers and the Baltany are all a little more more gilt gold than they are that old radium looking loom but the 12 the six and the small plot points all are definitely a creamier a lighter brown so there really is three colors going on on this dial the sub registers are both in white, of course, you have a 60 minute counter on the left and you have a ugh, 24 hour dial on the right. But all in all, it's a great looking watch. And I don't think, like, I really believe this watch is so good looking that I would probably buy it and wear it even though I can't stand this movement. And one of the standout features of this watch, which goes beyond just that beautiful dial, is the case. It's a very nicely wearing case. It turns down quite a bit. The brushing on this thing is absolutely superb. Like, I am just blown away by what Baltany is doing these days. Is it luxury level? No. Can it compete with Seiko and others? Absolutely. It is all brushed everywhere, which is kind of nice, except it does have, it looks like a little bit of polish around the edge of that bezel. The crown is unsigned, but it is a screw down crown. And you're going to find another interesting thing about it is it has that sort of notch there, which at first I thought was weird and I was going to criticize it until I checked out some vintage watches. And guess what? Those vintage watches had that same design. 
Now, before we go any further, I want to let you know that this watch was loaned into the channel by Overby Watches on eBay. They are based out of the United States, and their price is $158, the same price on the Baltany website. Maybe you can find it cheaper elsewhere if you look around, but if you're in the States, I would pay an extra few dollars for the convenience and the speed of shipping to have it come from my own country. The strap on this is a beautiful, genuine leather it's nothing fancy, it's nothing special, it's the same basic strap that were on the other watches, but it's quite pliable, it's quite comfortable, I think it'll last a long time. One deviation from the others, no signed buckle on this guy. And I mentioned it before on the other two models, I'll mention it again on this one, this is a sterile case back, absolutely nothing written on here, Baltany saved a few pennies in this regard, so don't expect anything fancy, but as I've said before, my wrist can't read, so it doesn't bother me at all. Now, I have only one issue with this watch, and it's the same one I've had with many VK64s and the like, and that is that the seconds hand on the chronograph doesn't quite meet up with exactly 12 o'clock, and you can't adjust it without taking it apart and manually adjusting it, which is why I do prefer the Citizen Movements, which with a push of a few buttons can actually be adjusted. But nonetheless, for 158 bucks, I think I could probably overlook it. Speaking of the chronograph, it's got a nice tactile click to start it, to stop it, and to reset it. Snaps right back, nice and easy. Love that. The crown on this easily unscrews with a nice solid pop, and even with my gloves on, I can screw it down without any issue. So there you go, that's my third Baltany. Really, really like this watch. When I unboxed all three, this was the one that really stood out to me, and so I saved the best, in my opinion, for last. But let me know, which was your favorite of the three Baltanese? Very heavily military-inspired, two chronographs, one automatic. Which of those three would you choose? They're all sort of in the same financial ballpark, and they all meet sort of slightly different needs, depending on whether you need a chronograph or an automatic, what kind of style you like, what kind of movement you like. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like and subscribe and you won't miss out on any other great affordable watch content down below for more videos.